Framers, good tidings to you today. I am going to be giving my review of the Free Elm Sunrise comics. Free Elm Sunrise comics. Free Elm comics. Haha, <laughs> I got you, didn't I? Um, so I read the comics on my birthday, which was September 7th. That was like months ago. I did a video on it. Well, I didn't do a video on it. I recorded it, never uploaded it. I actually deleted it because I want to redo it and just kind of like go over the comics. Um, there's, I believe, 12 in total. You can buy them all on eBay. Um, <coughs> they're super cheap. Like, they're they're really cheap. Like, pretty much dirt cheap. Um, and you can get all of them. I'm pretty sure they're still on all, all of them are still on there because I managed to pick them up. I have the physical... Um, copies but yeah uh i basically wanted to get my review on what i thought about the comics and yeah so let's let's get into it so the comics themselves aren't bad but they aren't good like i liked reading them um i enjoyed like the free homes themes and stuff it gave me a lot of nostalgia for the game um but yeah they aren't the best they aren't the best comics in terms of like i don't know um like the writing's the writing's funny. Like I laughed at a lot of things. Like uh, Dane Kensington was saying, like one of the main characters. Um, but I think my main problem with the comics are is like the comics don't stick to one story completely. Um, it's mainly them helping with um, Queen uh, Queen Val Valeria Valeria and whatever her name is. I think that's right. I could be wrong. Um, that's probably so wrong. Did I did I butcher that? Um Queen Valerian. Yeah, I didn't get that wrong. Okay, cool. Um <laughs> So yeah, it, it doesn't stick to one story completely. Um from what I read, uh there's at least three different main storylines, but they all relate to Dane and I can't remember her, her name. Um Dane has like a not a sidekick, but, like, a friend that, you know, they meet in the beginning of the whole comics. But they're ba the whole, the three storylines are them helping Queen Valerian out. Um, so it sticks to a theme. Doesn't stick to main, like, it's, like, three different storylines. It's a lot. It's not just one concise storyline. Um, and there's also, like, not including, there's also, like, four to eight side storylines. So, like, in between your main one, you've got, you know, they're doing, like, four to eight different things in the story, which is interesting. Um, the one thing I wish the comics did was, like, they, you know, just follow one main storyline completely. You know, don't do three different ones. And then, like, you know, do side storylines. I do think it was, like, it was a really good read. Um, what was really cool, like, the end of the comics is there's a redeemable code at the end of each one. So, you, I didn't even know about this. Like, I didn't get, I didn't know these comics existed, um, back when I was a kid. I didn't. Um, but yeah, you could have gotten, like, in-game items with the comics. So, all 12 of them included a code at the end of the comic. Obviously, they can't be used now, but still cool to know that those existed. Um, now, the, obviously, the one thing I really liked about the comics, um, was the characters. The characters were, like, they were great. Um... They each had their own, like, charm, personality. Um, there was a lot of, like, I, I compare, like, those, like, the amount of characters in that, um, almost to, like, Luck of the Draw didn't have a lot of characters. I think it had a lot of characters, but I don't know. Like, they they include characters left, right, and center, so maybe my writing is, like, not too far off from films, um, with the amount of characters they included, but, like, like I said, um, Dane Kens Kensington, right? Like, that's my favorite character in that entire comic. He's always, like, it's his personality. Like, that guy is just super crazy. He's out there. Um, and, yeah, the characters in, in those comics, honestly, I think they deserve a sequel. Because um, how the whole, how all the comics ended... It ended on sort of a cliffhanger. Almost. I want to say almost a cliffhanger because it did. Um, 
they like ended with defeating i would say a boss i'm not going to spoil what it was um and yeah just kind of i don't know ended on a weird note like it ended on a like almost a cliffhanger but like not really um i kind i kind of wish like they would have continued doing the comics i don't know when that last when 12 issue 12 was released but uh they need to uh, someone i know someone said like the comics should continue, but like, who would even? One, there, there's a copyright issue. <laughs> I mean, I think an artist could do it, but like, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't even know if like you could continue that storyline of Dane and like all the other characters, but yeah. Um, I think I think like reading the comics inspired me to write more. Um, for sure, like. I read them and I was like, I need to write some more for him's lore. Um, but yeah, it was, yeah, it was a, it was a good read. Nonetheless, I would, I'd recommend like buying the physical copies, reading them for yourself. And then I think you'll, you'll enjoy them more. Um, I know you can read them online, but it's not the same experience. Okay. It's really not like the, the comics are in good condition too, the ones I have anyway, but yeah. Um, give them a read for yourself and decide what you think. But yeah. Um, that's my review. The Free Elms Summarize. I keep saying that, dude. The Free Elms Comics. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!